Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, Season 28, this is War Number 2, and we're going up against an alliance called Iceberg. Alright, so we're going to go in here and spectate, and we will see what their defense looks like, what I'm going to be uh, facing. I'm getting in here a little bit late, um, but no one's on my side yet. Uh, I take Path 3 in sections one and two so first up i'm seeing i don't think i've ever fought i bomb uh on this path before so i'm gonna want a poison immune perhaps uh so warlock who i usually bring might be able to do that uh fight then we've got iron man infinity war if you saw my one of my previous wars, I got wrecked. You know, it was a long fight, timed out, I think, or or something like that. Uh, but we're gonna bring Magneto for him. That is um, a great counter for that. All right, now, Mister Negative, I'm not sure. Um, we'll, we'll we'll see what my uh, alliance mates bring. Uh, but I'll probably bring I'm trying to think warlock nick fury oh, man i can't bring nick fury man this is going to be a rough one if i have to bring in uh magneto for iron man infinity war because my normal team is nick fury black widow clairvoyant and warlock so what i also could do because i have to swap somebody out um I can swap out Warlock for um, Magneto and then use Black Widow Clairvoyant and just stay in poison, uh, her poison phase, uh, you know, was it um, Plague, and take this eye bomb with, uh, with Black Widow Clairvoyant in poison. Then Magneto can take this guy here um and then i can still bring in uh nick fury because i really do want to bring in nick fury and nick fury might be able to take that uh mr negative who knows all right so they're almost at the middle looks like we've got dermamu uh someone with a human torch would be great i'm hoping one of them uh bring a human torch in all right and then here we've got warlock um Magneto, who I'm bringing, should be able to handle that fight, no problem. Uh, then we've got Thing. Nick Fury should be able to handle that. And uh, oof, we've got a Killmonger. I may end up just boosting and doing that fight as well, but we'll see uh, what others bring uh, for that fight. All right, so now we got Mini Boss Island, and we'll look at the ones... Uh, to the left here, Jabari Panther. Uh, I sometimes take that note, sometimes not. Um, Nick Fury can do that fight. Depends on, you know, how hurt he is once I get done with my paths. Um, but Black Widow Clairvoyant uh, is who I would choose uh, to do that fight. Then that Nick Fury up there, annoying. I can do that fight with Warlock if I needed to, if he's still good. Uh, we've got health potions from Kabam, so I'd be able to heal up um, and not hurt myself, you know, in terms of items and everything. And then uh, Sorcerer Supreme, preferably somebody that has uh, power control uh, for that fight. But nick fury can do that fight as well boost it up and just go go to town and he can do that fight too uh now down uh the bottom right i don't usually do those fights but uh man thing human torch can do that uh this terax black widow clairvoyant can do it um namor i think uh would be a good option for there but in terms of who I have to bring, uh, I wouldn't want to fight that with anyone I'm bringing. Um, 
And then that Magneto, uh, not Magneto, that uh, Mysterio up there, Magneto could do that fight. But if you can bring someone that handles the evade, that would be best. So we normally have our backup if they're not needed, which they usually are not anywhere else on the map. They come in with counters specifically for those three. They boost up one time and they just go all the way take out all three uh, in one boost. So that's that's the plan. Um, I'm gonna bring Black Widow Clairvoyant, Nick Fury, and Magneto. And we'll see how that goes. All right, so we'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. And as you can see, I switched up my team a little bit, took out Warlock, put in Magneto. And the reason, Iron Man Infinity War, all right? Anytime I see an Iron Man Infinity War on path three in section one, I'm bringing Magneto. All right. But we got to get through this Immortal Abomination. Now, the thing with Immortal Abomination, he's not really tough to fight, but you really want to use a, a, a poison immune champion against him or else he's going to poison you to death. And that was originally why I was wary of taking out Warlock, because Warlock would have been able to do this fight no problem. But one of my favorite mystics, Black Widow Clairvoyant, has a phase, Curse of Plague, I believe, that I can get her in and she is poison immune. So the first thing I'm going to do is do a five hit combo, end in a light attack. Boom. Now I'm in Curse of Plague, I'm immune to poison, and that is where I want to stay, okay? Look at how I'm just taking chunks out of his health, all right? And we're just uh, evading. His special one is pretty easy to evade, uh, provided the game uh, works right. All right, just look at this. Real fast, right? Boom, boom, boom. Just taking him out. Now he's really low, right? And so I'm just like, okay, come on. Just fire that last special off and then does that. Now, I want you to see what happened. Did you notice that he hit me and then finished his uh, special? That's because it didn't evade. That's why I said what I said when the game is working right. Because I went to evade, she didn't move. And he hit instead into her block. Then it said, oh, that's right, you wanted to move. So then it tried to move me too late to evade uh, that special. So I was like, all right, cool. We got through it, though. You know, we're done. We didn't die. Now we've got this Iron Man Infinity War. Do you guys remember that war when I fought this guy and timed out because I didn't have a good counter for him on this path? It was ugly. It was ugly. Um, I, when I saw that I had brought in the wrong champion uh, and I didn't even have a champion, on my team, it was, I was like, oh my goodness, I don't know if I'm gonna pass this. But we did get him down with uh, one death, but it was a long fight, long couple of fights, all right? But with Magneto, don't have to worry about all that. Now, I want you to notice something that the AI does, which is very annoying, okay? Now you saw that I did a reparry, that's what that's called, a reparry. But you see how he fires off his heavy attack after his attack? All right, so he does his medium uh, attack, and then he does a heavy like that. That is anti-reparry um, AI, okay? Because what you want to do is you want to, you know, have him do the first one, and then when he attacks, you know, the second attack, you know, he does a medium, and then he does either a light attack or something, you can parry that. But you can't do that when he's firing a heavy attack after his medium. So he's a medium, heavy, medium, heavy. Nothing you can do but what you saw me doing, which is back off, hit him with your own counter, his heavy with your heavy. Okay? Um, so you can get around it, but it's just a little bit annoying when you're trying to go for that reparry. It's like, no, you're not going to get a reparry. All right, so now I'm fighting Mr. Negative, and I hate fighting Mr. Negative. Because he has that reverse controls, I don't fully understand him, and I don't know when the reverse controls even happen. So you see here, I'm just blocking it. 
not trying to evade it. He lit me up. You know, I went on negative or whatever. Um, and I just said, you know what? I'm not going to try to do any reverse. Just block it. Take him down. That's how I'm going to fight him from now on. Don't try to evade his special. Now, some people can evade his special. If it was in uh, another game mode, uh, I'll learn and I'll, I'll try to evade his specials. But in Alliance War, and you saw already, I tried to evade and couldn't. No, I'm not willing to risk it, okay? Won't risk it for the biscuit. So that is uh, Section 1 done. As you can see, my Alliance mates went ahead, uh, cleared the middle, and uh, Section 2 is open. And I also take Path 3 in Section 2. And this first fight is Warlock. Now, you see the nodes that we're dealing with here that boost uh, buff the armor up. Warlock is going to have an armor up buff. Even though you can nullify it, he's going to keep getting it back. Okay? So he's going to have that unless you can, uh, you know, uh, make him debuff immune. I mean, not debuff, but uh, buff immune. Uh, like uh, Mephisto. Mephisto can uh, lock him down with that soul imprisonment, things like that. Uh, otherwise, he's he's getting that armor up, okay? So I decided to go in with my girl, Claire, all right? And here we go. See, she nullified it, but you'll see it's on a, a timer. It's on a cooldown, and he's going to get it back, all right? So here I'm like, all right, let's, uh, you know, go into Curse of Play, get rid of the... Um, Poison debuff, uh, Liquid Courage, and uh, that Liquid Courage gives us because I'm running uh, full suicides. And here we go. I went all the way back to blood. This is how I normally do fights here. Okay. But look at that. I got a, a shock on me. And I, I, as much as I love Warlock, I'm like, oh, where did that shock come from? Did he hit me? All right. But I'm just like, whatever, whatever. You know, uh, Claire is still doing her thing. She's still getting him down. But I lost a lot of health, you know? And uh, and I know that he has a DJ because this one is uh, Awakened. And I can't remember what caused the DJ. And I think it's when I do healing. Is it when I do healing? When uh, I need to look that up. Um, with the willpower, uh, I'm always healing up when I get like these debuffs on me. So I'm, I'm wondering if that was it. Uh, but I can't remember. Anyway, next up, we've got Thing. And, of course, I'm going to go in there with Nick Fury. He is one of the best counters for Thing. Uh, definitely the best counter that I have. But Claire could have done this fight as well. Um, Magneto could have. I mean, the node is not that difficult. It's explosive personality. But with Thing, it's tricky. It's tricky. Tricky, tricky. Anyway, um, it is tricky. Because you often, if you get to the place where he doesn't have a special ready and you're already at or very, very near 15 rock charges, then what we normally would do is hit into his block to build him up. But with explosive personality, you only have a few times to do that and you're going to make the fight a lot harder. So this is actually a really good placement for Thing. Okay, so I'm sitting here and I have this strategy now because I noticed this because it happened to me and I was so annoyed. You know, thing has protection. Okay, but here's the thing. <laughs> I'm saying thing too often. You see how his protection procced? His, uh, his protection procced after the special three hit him. The special three is considered instant. So... It does the damage. I don't know if this is um, a bug or this is just the way it works, but it did the damage and then he procced his uh, protection. So he didn't get protection from the special three unless he already had protection activated. So what I will do is I'll wait till his protection is not active. Then I will fire my special three. And that has helped me out in many other situations, not just against Thing, but against other nodes. Now, I did not fight this Killmonger because I didn't feel like I had a good counter for Killmonger. If I had uh, Warlock, I would have taken this fight. 
but one of my alliance mates did have a warlock and that is going to do it for my fighting of this particular war so we're going to find out in a moment how this war ended And we're back. And as you can see, we lost this war. So this is the second war in a row that we have lost. Now, the first war, we didn't have someone placed. Our diversity was horrible. I don't know why it was so bad, but it was horrible. Maybe it's because they didn't place. This war, take a look here. Our diversity is much better than it was in War 1. But it's still way too low way too low. Uh, if we are serious, and I've said this before, this is not the first time our diversity has been lower than I think it should be, you know? Um, and we started losing wars on diversity. We lost this war on diversity. Okay. Let me show you all of it. All right. So we had full participation. Shout out to, uh, our MVPs there. Um, we had full participation. We actually got more attack bonus than they did. Okay. We all got our bosses down. But look at the diversity. In my opinion, our diversity should be 150 all the time, no matter what. That's just me. I don't care, you know, how tough the defender. I think it should be 150 all the time. But if it's not going to be 150, it should be real close, like 148, you know. Um but I'm not the one that makes these decisions. However, I am the one that makes the decision whether to place with or without suicides, and I'm being asked to place without suicides. And I did. But this is not really making me want to do that. You know, um I don't even know what to say. Like we we could have played a little better, died a little bit less for sure. But if we are serious, our diversity needs to be 150. 148, 149 at the least. 143 is crazy. At 143, I do not want to place without suicides because I'm spending units every war. And I don't want to spend units every war with our diversity at 143. Actually, I don't want to spend it at 144, 145, 146. Okay. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, we're talking, maybe they will correct it as they have in the past. But I, this is the, this, like I said, this is, if you've been watching, this is not the first time our diversity has been lower than it should be for an alliance that says they're trying to, you know, get Platinum 3. And to be sure, you can get Platinum 3 without having full diversity. But why would you make it difficult on yourself? You know, if you are playing so well, you're getting single-digit kills, you know, every war, great. You know, if we, if we, if our defender kills were like single digits, then we would have won. Even with their full diversity, we would have won, you know, but that's not where we're at right now. Obviously, you know, this is not bad, but we, we we're not playing well enough to have our diversity that low. All right. Let's just say it that way. Anyway, that's going to do it, guys, for this video. Um, we'll see if we improve for the next wars. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.